Hey, James from Social Coach here with one of my awesome female trainers, Monique. Hi. And a couple of questions for you. Do you find that you struggle to start and build conversations with women? Do you find that you're often running out of things to say? You can maybe do a good two or five minutes and then it sort of gets a bit funny. Do you find that you really struggle to get women attracted to you or do you find you really struggle to connect with the women that you really like? Well, I think this video is gonna be really, really useful for you. As someone who went from being absolutely woeful with women, in case you didn't know I was a virgin till 27, never had sex again, or a girlfriend plus 31, pretty lonely years, to you know, do, doing, doing pretty well. I think this is really sad, because one thing I've found from my experiences with women is I honestly think women never stop talking. But most guys just can't even get them started, which I think is very sad. And now I'm going to share with you one of the biggest mistakes that men make when they actually do get a girl talking. So I'll give you an example. I'm just going to use some props. So anyway, ask Monique a question. So Monique, tell me what you got on this weekend. This weekend I am going to go to dinner with a friend and then I'm going to work on my fitness. So I might do a yoga or Pilates class. And then I think I might relax and read a book. Oh, that, that, that sounds cool. And uh, so, um, where do you like to go out on the weekends? Um, can you see what's happened there? I've walked up to the woman, I, either she thinks I'm okay looking, or I've done a good job of the approach, or I'm well dressed or happy or something. She likes me. I ask her a question and she says, okay, I'll give this guy a chance. I, I kind of like him. And what did you say? Have dinner with friends, do, th do something for fitness. Fitness and then maybe, read a book. Maybe relax and read a book. And what I've done is, I'm not interested in talking about any of that shit. I want to talk about what I want to talk about. And I've just completely ignored her and then said, oh, tell me where you go out on the weekend. So, so many guys, they try to talk to girls, they try to be attractive to girls, and they just totally f it up because they're just not listening. So specifically, what I missed in this example is something called bonus information. I asked Monique a question, she could have just said, oh, I'm not much, I'm just catching up with my friends and left it at that. But instead, she gave me lots of fuel for the conversation, and if my memory serves me correctly, so exercise, having to do yoga, dinner with friends, and relax and read a book. I just obviously just ignored her. What I should have done is stored these, these if you like, bullet points in my mind. So this is how you can never have stuff to say when you're talking to a girl. Just save up the, the, if you like, the points she's given you and then sort of sort it just like a spreadsheet in terms of what's most interesting for you. I might put yoga on top. And then what I do is just ask an open-ended question about yoga. Oh, so tell me about what yoga you do would be an example. And then by chance, if, I, if we ran out of things to say about yoga or that didn't go very far, I could move on to books or the people she's having dinner with or the food she likes or something. So yeah, you don't need, it's, it's very easy not to run out of things to say in a conversation as a guy. That's one point, you know, the conversation stutters, you look unconfident, uh, you look like you've got no clue, and it looks like you've got no clue. Girls often assume you're not particularly skilled in the bedroom either. But not just that, you've actually been really rude to the girl. I'm going to use uh, a, a sort of a, a slightly sexual I suppose metaphor to describe that. The girl has, I've approached the girl, the girl's like, like me, she's given me a chance, and by giving me three things to talk about, it's almost like she's sort of, in a way, throwing herself at me in a conversation sense. Yeah, I really like this guy, I wanna give him a chance, I wanna make this work. And it's almost like we're, we've been on three dates and we've come back to her, to my place, and maybe she thinks, oh, this guy's a bit slow, I need to give him a bit of a help. And she's, I've gone to make her a cup of tea or a drink, and she's helped herself into my bedroom, taken all her clothes off, left her shoes on, and sat in the bed going, come get it, Buster. And I said, what are you going into my bedroom with her permission for? It's just really, if you like, disrespectful to women. And, and guys do this all the time by accident, but it just makes women feel rejected and hurt. And, just feel like you don't get it at all or you don't respect them, which is obviously not what you want from a girl you're attracted to. So Monique, I'm sure you've had many examples where you gave a guy a chance, but 
he just didn't take it or couldn't see what you were doing. How does that make you feel as a woman? It just, I'm sure they feel like they're not getting anywhere and I feel the same. It's just like, where, where do I go from here? That's one way of putting it as, as a woman. Um, it's a, it's frustrating. Yeah, because you know, you, obviously if you get to that point, you obviously like each other, but it's just like the relationship or the whatever, really, friendship, whatever, isn't progressing anywhere. So it is quite frustrating for a woman. And how do you feel when like, you know, a good looking, perhaps interesting, you know, maybe well presented, hunky guy who you potentially are attracted to is sort of just that clueless in conversation. What, what does that make you feel inside about the guy? Um, you know, it makes you feel a bit mixed feelings. Because I mean, physical good looks is one thing, but obviously if he can't connect to you on an emotional level and have a decent conversation, then it's a bit of a turn off as well. So as a woman, it's, again, I would say frustrating. Yeah, because he's this gorgeous guy, you're really attracted to him, but you can't engage. So yeah, it's quite a turn off, yeah. Because mm. I mean, I know for myself, I like to be mentally stimulated. <laughs> yeah, I mean, most girls do. So yeah, hope you got a lot out of that. Listening for those pieces of bonus information really is the fuel to connect with women far quicker, get them attracted to you far quicker on dates, potentially into bed, and maybe, you know, madly in love with you as your new girlfriend much, much quicker. So hope you got a ton out of that video. Please hit like and subscribe. We'll keep making more of them. And yeah, our best wishes in your, your conversations and, and in your, your general life with women. See ya. <laughs> cool, that's awesome. So tell me, where do you usually like to go out at night? <laughs> I missed. <laughs> I got a drop on, I'm sorry. It's <laughs> terrible. <laughs> we were doing so well. <laughs> I know. I honestly think women never stop talking. I think, you know, at a woman's funeral, she's supposedly dead, but she's in the coffin going, well, who on earth asked her to my funeral? I can't believe it. And who chose those flowers? I've got no taste. I honestly believe women never shut up. But most guys just can't even get them started, which I think is very sad. So if you like that video, click the link here and we're going to direct you to more videos that you'll also like and get a lot of value out of. And if you like uh, a special free gift from Social Coach to help you quickly attract the women you really want, click that here for a free gift and I look forward to seeing the results you get out of it.